All right, Dix, I'm going to show you all something you all probably already know, but uh, if you don't, you might learn something uh, to help you in a bind. But I was out putting corn out in my Ranger, and my tire went flat. It come off the rim. I don't know. This is the third time it's done it, and it's not the same tire every time. I don't – these factory players – wheels i don't know but i'm done with these some bitches but uh i'll show you how to if you're in the middle of nowhere and you, you can't get back i'll show you how to put the uh the the wheel or the tire back on the wheel where you can air it up and get back but uh let me get changed real quick deer don't be smelling me you know i gotta keep these clothes fresh but uh let's roll all right so i'm back at the ranger and the three things you're gonna always want to keep with you uh, you know if this happens I was lucky enough I was close to the truck, which I had these things with me anyway, but, you know, I went back to the truck and got an impact in a jack, you know. If I didn't have a jack or whatever, um, I would just I have a front winch. I would just find a tree with a limb or something, throw a strap over it, winch my front tires up. And if you got to do the back tires, hell, you can winch the whole damn thing off the ground. The winch will pull it up, but I, I'm close enough to a jack. I don't have to do that. You need a lighter right here. And then I keep this. This extra toe, toe strap, but this is, a, this is an air compressor right there, and this is just starting fluid, any kind of flammable thing. I use starting fluid, but so you're going to need those three things to get it back on, and you can see that it's it's off. I mean, so I've got to set it back on the on the wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack it up real quick. I'm going to bust the lug nuts off, and when I get the tire on the ground ready to set it back on the rim, I'll start the video again. So I got the tire off the ranger obviously as you can see now what you're going to want to do is get your starter fluid and your lighter okay you can see this damn thing's off off the wheel so <clears throat> what you're going to want to do kind of clean up any junk you're going to want to take this and this shit's cheap so i mean don't use it you know buy another can don't don't go generous on it but you're going to want to Kind of hold down a little bit and get all up in there all up in there good you know don't be scared and you're gonna light this thing see that ain't enough yeah it was all right Hell yeah, old son. <clears throat> I didn't think it was enough. But anyway, as you can see, it's back. It's back on the, the wheel. So I've never had to do that. Like if it doesn't do it right away, I've always had to do it again. But so now all I've got to do is hook my compressor up to the Ranger, put this back on there and air that so much up and roll out. So I'm just going to air it up. Anyway, just a short little quick video. Uh, it, it might help somebody to buy in one day. I'm sure all y'all already knew that because you know everything else. But at one time, I didn't know it either. So got back to the truck. We're good to go. Air's holding up. So that's it. Just passing it along. Peace.